for those of you who are not aware, the original gun den detector, not the not this one, which is basically based off the unicorn version, which is in red, can be purchased with the P Bandai. If anybody's interested in getting the red version of this. And I for one if I would paint this red. If I wanted to do that, but I'm not. Well, then again, is the original version of the gun, gun, gun cannon detector red and then they just made it blue for, for this? Or was it the other way around? I don't know. I know I saw a red version of this. Parts of this. I was checking to see if I could find these decals. Um, well, these are stickers, of course, but I was looking for the decals with this. I see there are circles there, which I can get away with certain decals, uh, some of the decals that I have. There are the patterns here that I'd like to get. Now, I don't know how big this kit is in relation to everything else. Um, so what I've been doing lately has been been playing Battle Operations 2 and you can pretty much see the difference in size and scale on certain mobile suits relative to, you know, in the game. Another thing, of course, and then I'll, I'll get to that in a minute with the, the game. Uh, I was trying to see, you know, whether it's big or small or wide, thin, um, because I'm also thinking of maybe, and I'm not 100% sure, putting some LED lights on this. Maybe just put it on the head. Maybe, I don't know. But, uh, um, I have to see, you know what, I'm, I'm actually working on the blue parts. I should have pulled the, the plate that shows the blue parts. Let me just put that here. Here are the dark blue parts, and here are the... Well, yeah, it's more neat. That's like a lighter navy tone. This is a darker navy tone. We have some poly caps here. This one is actually part of this. Just, where's the head part? It's always on... Okay, on this plate. There we go. That could be it. Yeah. You know what? It's easier to do this. goes on top of that as a helmet. There's a clear part there for that. And then you have the antenna thing. The mo okay, so it's like a mono eye sensor based on what I'm seeing here. Yeah. So I could probably drill a hole in there and put an LED light going through there. So the LED light will be a good idea to put there, but now I would have to see how the body is if I can actually squeeze in the ba the um, battery pack. Um, so I see um, something that goes up there. Maybe. All right. Yeah. Let me let me flesh this out. Let me take this apart, and then we'll figure it out in a minute. 
Okay, so here are all the parts that make up the gun cannon detector, or DT. The darker blue tones, lighter blue tones, all the charcoal, a lot of charcoal parts. Clearly this is going to be more, I think I'm going to be spending a lot of time making, you know, the inner frame for this, so that'll be interesting to see. And then here are the parts that makes the cannon. I'm going to make the cannon, but I won't do the customization yet. Like I mentioned before, we'll get to that later on. Um, I just want to assemble it first to see what it looks like overall before we move on to the next stage. So, uh, uh, as in, and of course, as I mentioned before, doing the LED light on the eyes. We'll see if we can, if I can swing that because uh, not only that to put the eye on, but also the battery pack and what kind of battery I'll use. Um, I may end up thinking, I'm like looking at the leg here and thinking maybe you could put the battery in there, but you know, there's a lot of parts here that that won't work that way. Um, during the move, there were a lot of things that I, I lost and um, I have my lights, but I don't think I have wiring and I have to find out if the batteries that I have are still good to utilize that and begin testing. So whether I will move forward with an LED light set in the eyes. I don't know yet. I don't know. So I may end up say yes or say no or forget it. All right. Let me begin cleaning all this stuff up and then assembling it. We'll do actually. We'll do an assembly to see how it looks overall. Okay. So we're going to begin the assembly of the gun cannon DT gun cannon detector real uh, RE100. Um, I just finished sanding down all these parts, and all the parts will be sanded down to assembly, so we're going to assemble these first before we start doing something. But first, let's assemble it to see how it, how it looks overall. So, first up, I'll leave this part here. And I'm looking at the instructions. That goes like that. So that completes that. And then we have this. And that position we take this put that through there then put the cover the other cover like so repeat the process again on the other one and then this in that position there, that position here, and then I guess you stick it in there. Just trying to see the orientation and how it goes in. Um, Oh, I, the other one was upside down. That's why. There we go. Alright, so then that goes in there like so. Alright. Same like this. Okay. With that completed, take this. Put this there. Make sure the peg hole is in facing up like that. Then we put it over like this. And then we take the front part here. That goes in like that. And that one goes in like so. Huh. Okay. I don't want to push it in all the way and I see the reasons why because I didn't turn that to match the the connector because you know it's it's a it's in a specific pattern where you can push it in but I'm not gonna fix that because I'm gonna pop this out later on so we're gonna leave that alone for now there's all a method to my madness all right so we got here put this one like that Okay. 
There we go. And then take this, put it like that. And take this, put it in like that. Good. Good detail back there. Stick that up here. Then we have this part. I'll look by that. And that goes like that. Okay. Interesting that it doesn't have an ability to do a, uh, you know, bring it down like this. But then again, there's no cockpit, so you don't have to worry about that. Alright, so I believe that takes care of this part. Oh no, it did not. I've got this. And. There we go. The backpack. Or, yeah, looks like a portion of the backpack. I'm going to take this part here. Put it in like that. Close it up like so. And then this one goes through here. And this one goes through here. The instructions show something goes there and it's usually, it's a sticker. It's this sticker right here. But I'm not putting that on this. Clearly this is going to be a part that needs to be detailed up and all that stuff. Um, then just take this. And that goes in through here. Oh, that's actually nice. But I don't like that little gap there. Hopefully I can, hopefully it covers up. Alright, well the torso is complete. That's cool. Very neat. Let's now move on to the next part of the kit. Okay, so the next part of the build will be the head unit of the gun cannon detector. There is a um, there's a sticker that can go on the visor, but we're gonna not put that on, of course. This is actually fairly easy to do. All you need to do is take this part, put that through here. Slide that in so you can get the uh, mini gun, you know, the guns through there. That's cool. Put that there. there. There's some scarring here, but later on I will sand it down and make it even. And this is actually part of the seam line, so we're going to leave that alone. I'll probably widen it up so it subs so our seam line, panel line, so we're going to leave that alone for now. Um, then we take this, put that through here, it's like a little hook, goes like that I guess, and then we take this, we put that through here, we take this, that through there, then this goes right behind that. It's a unique head. That's very neat. All right, simple, very simple. I'm actually reviewing what I was saying before, so I don't know if this will work, but we'll talk about that later on. All right, let's move on to the next part of the build. All right, so the next part is going to be the arms of the gun cannon detector. These are all the parts that make up it. First thing we do is this. That there, like so. That completes this part. And for this, put that there, and then you put this here, easy peasy. We have this part, that goes there, and this one goes here, this part, oops. Ah. 
have it? Oh, there it is. I'm looking, I have the drawer open. Let's get that in here. Since that bends that way, that goes like that here. That goes in like that there. This one will go here, like so. And then the the hand goes there. Followed by this. By the way, you guys were noticing that some parts have not been sanded down. We'll get to the. Uh, I'm going to talk about those later on. And then we put these two here. There we go. So, both arms are now complete. But not yet. Let's put these here. We have some of these parts here. Whoops. So, you know that the shoulders, um, the shoulder parts are kind of different. So, you have this part here that goes onto this. This one goes here. And this one goes here. So, there's some good detail there. This part that only goes on this, and that's actually for the for the left shoulder. That goes here, and uh, I kind of like this design. Like that it's a little loose, but that's okay. With paint or glue, it'll stick. This part of the arm is the one that has the beam can um, the other secondary beam cannon. And for this, you want to put these two parts here, followed by this detail part here. And then this goes through here, followed by this detail part there. You actually get two of these, so you, clearly one is not is not used. It's probably garbage, because as you, you, unfortunately, they, it would have been nice if maybe they would have uh, incorporated another part like this on the other side, but I guess not. Let me put that there. Let me put that here. There you go. The arms of the gun cannon detector is now complete. Very nice. Very nice. Let's move on to the next part of the build.